So what's going on, on YouTube? I know it's been a little while. AJ Simmons here. Uh, I just wanted to do this video real quick to answer some user, um, excuse me, subscriber questions. I got a bunch of them in my email, so I just wanted to go ahead and start of taking the time out to answer each one individually. I figured I just record this video and uh, answer them all right here. That way, that everybody can learn from them at the same time as well. Um, as you can get, yeah, might you might be able to hear I got some music playing in the background, some random instrumentals I found. So. I'm not, I hope some. I hope it's some good that's gonna play because I don't even know what it is. But I figured I'd throw some music on the background. So here we go. This email is from Devin. Actually, this one is a continuation on um, a conversation we were having before. So I'm gonna give y'all a little bit of the backdrop of uh, what he was asking and my response, and then I'll give you his new question and I'm gonna respond to it. So here we go. So <clears throat> here's his original email. Hello, AJ. I knew a guy. He's very successful. He also has a cleaning business like us. He bought a franchise it's called Jenny King. He gave me an offer of $10,000 to buy a Jenny King franchise and he said that I don't have to pay it off. I can make a down payment and pay $200 a month and he can help me grow the business. I have a cleaning business as well. He said keep your business and do both. My questions are should I buy a franchise or not? And should I do both and see how it goes or should I just disregard my business and follow him? Thank you for your time and all that. All right, so basically, all right, so here's my response to Devin. Uh, congratulations on the opportunity. Definitely keep your business if you want. You can uh, use your business to buy the franchise, if assuming that your business is already an LLC. And then that way, basically what I was saying was he already has the business already. He has accounts. So he could take that business and buy the franchise. Now that franchise is one of his accounts. For that LLC but then I came back and said but then again you may want to separate the business to protect your current business from any uh, franchise liability liabilities that could uh, occur but it probably won't so basically what I was saying was on second thought maybe you should, you should separate your current business from the new franchise just in case for whatever he say he defaults on whatever finance he's doing with the franchise and that franchise actually tries to sue him for it or something uh, that way he doesn't have to lose the current business that he already has. He just uh, loses that franchise. So that's something to consider. Uh, all right. So <clears throat> my other question I had to ask him, though, was. Oh, wait a minute. Let me see what else I got here. If you're not sure on this, I'd ask if you can do a written own type of deal where you make the monthly payments until the franchise is paid. And if for whatever reason you decide you don't like the franchise, you can just bow out of the deal and continue to with your current business so basically what I was saying to him was look try to rent on with him see what he's talking because I didn't, I, I'm not really sure what the, what the situation was as you'll see as we go further in his email but um, so I was telling him look try to see if you do a rent on situation that way you pay him a little 200 a month don't pay it down but just pay 200 a month clean his accounts whatever and then uh, if you like it roll with it if you don't like it then you can just get out and go back to doing what you was already doing with your business so so this is what I continued on to ask him. I said, is this guy selling you his franchise is already up and running? Or is he a master franchise owner, which is what it sounded like to me, for the area that's uh, selling you a brand new franchise? So here's his new question. Uh, here's his response to me. And he also had a uh, new question. So here we go. All right, so he said he bought a Jenny King franchise 14 years ago, talking about the guy that's trying to sell to him sell to Devin. Uh, he bought a franchise 14 years ago and he wanted me to join in with him. He needs people to do the accounts with him. Uh, so basically what that sounds like to me is this guy is a unit franchise owner, not the, man, not the master franchise owner. He said this guy had over 386 accounts that have been running up and down. He's selling me a brand new franchise with $10,000 and the account I will be having is ten thousand dollars per month. If I can pay more and more, the accounts will be increased. I'm still confused. I'm not sure. Maybe Devin is isn't quite sure how this is working either. That's probably why I'm confused. Or either he just or he or she. I'm still not even sure if this is a female or a male. So sorry about that. But or he or maybe he or she isn't doing that great of a job of breaking it down for me. But basically, so what it's sounding like is either a the person that they're talking to is a master franchise owner they're trying to sell them a franchise for ten that brings in ten thousand a month. 
is what he's saying. Because there's no way that you he, that the, the franchise is going to cost ten thousand dollars if it brings in ten thousand dollars a month. That's that's crazy. It's not going. It's going to cost a lot more than that. Um, I'm not really sure what he's saying here, but basically, if okay, so this is what I recommend to Devin. Basically, if you got the money and you can buy in on this, go for it because that extra ten grand a month won't hurt anybody, right? So go for that. And and you already in the business already, so go for it. Do what you do. Keep what you already got. Make a separate LLC. Buy in with him, and then roll from there. And you just have both businesses. And that way, if you don't like it, sell it. If you like it, then cool. You just keep growing with it. All right. So uh, he says you're totally right. I would do business with him. Thank you for your quick reply. Without you, I don't know what to do. So. Oh, I don't even think he actually had a question in this one. He was kind of thanking me so much for applying to the other one. So. Hopefully that was able to help Devin on that. So let me go to see what the next email was in this uh, in these unread emails of mine. All right, who else do we got? I'm going in order of oldest, by the way, because I got a couple here. So if you guys are wondering uh, when I'm gonna get to your question, I'm just getting them oldest to newest. I only have uh, I think four that I'm gonna do today or three. Uh, all right, so this one's from Melvin. Hello, my name is Melvin, and I'm from West Memphis, West Memphis uh, I think that's Arkansas, which is 10 miles outside of Memphis, Tennessee. I'm seriously considering opening a franchise and franchise and cleaning, and I was just pondering on which fruit is best. I would really appreciate it if you can take some time out to speak with me. All right, cool. So I'm gonna get this guy a call. Uh, this will be one of those consultation calls I told you guys about. So. <clears throat> Hopefully Melvin is aware of my fees of uh, what I say 85 bucks an hour, so I'll be charging them that. So no question to answer there. On to the next one. Uh, what happened to my music? Let's see what happened to the music. All right, so the next one. Oh, this guy he actually sent me a message on YouTube. I usually don't get these that often, so it's hard for me to use. Take me a little while to reply to those because I I rarely check it. All right. Let's see what's going on. All right. So this one's from Tony. He says, hey, I'm country. I really enjoyed your videos. I'm going to. Oh, OK, I got you. He said, hey, I'm country. I really enjoyed your videos. I'm going to continue to look into your videos. I learn. I like how you break everything down for people. I uh, really like what you're doing. But I have a question. I've been sitting on my idea of starting my very own cleaning business for two years now and I have my name and everything here. Oh, I have my name and everything. Here's my question. It's kind of hard to read because there's no punctuation mark. So, <laughs> so, so here's my question. Do you think I should open it up on my own and market for my own leads and contracts and for my own leads and contracts or look into a franchise uh, to get it all started? I have talked to franchises. They have a lot to offer, like training and insurance. And also, how could I get training if I don't want to choose a franchise? If you know any good resources who sell online training, refer me to, or that you can refer me to. Thanks. Uh, get back with me as soon as you can. That would be helpful. All right, Tony. So let's see if we can break this down. All right, I've been sitting on the idea of starting my very own cleaning franchise for about two years. All right. First, let me get some music, y'all. I gotta get my music going. That was that was feeling good, and I don't know what happened to it. There we go. I don't know who Beats these is. I'm on datpiff.com. I just went typed the instrumentals and put the first mixtape that came up with. All right, so let's see here. Now, I have my name and everything. Here's my question. Do you think I should open it up on my own and market for new leads and contracts or look into a franchise? First, let's start right there. I first recommend that you go to, uh, I got the How to Start a Cleaning Business series that I never actually quite completely finished, but the first video in that series where I exposed the commercial cleaning franchise and I charged for that video, it is $1.99 I believe to buy that video. but it's definitely worth it and I think it'll help you in this particular situation Tony where you can actually see first off uh, how the, the franchise model works I looked up because my board is up there and I wrote up the uh, 
I wrote down all the details up there anyway. But uh, yes, yeah, so I broke it down and showed you exactly how much you can make with the franchise opportunity. You know what I mean? And I think it'll help you, you know, get a real clear, precise picture of of what you're getting with that franchise opportunity versus going on your own. Uh. Second thing I recommend is you consider all of the things that come with going on your own. I mean, with as far as drafting up your own contracts, as far as like some of the things you point out. Now, as far as insurance and um, what else did you say? Training. Insurance ain't no big deal. You can get insurance and you can actually get it cheaper outside of a franchise uh, in the long run. In the beginning, the franchise is kind of beneficial because it's a percentage and you won't make it be making a whole lot. Nine times out of ten in the very beginning, so that percentage won't be that high. But over time, you can definitely get cheaper insurance outside of the franchise. Um, as far as the training, I'm here. You know what I mean? I'm here. Fabio Hart is here. LinkedIn. You got to get on LinkedIn and join those groups. Um, I have a group on Google Plus uh, that you can join for commercial cleaning franchise owners. It's, I forgot the name of it, but it's, I think it's called... Uh, commercial cleaning franchise owners or something like that you can find on Google Plus um, it's resources out here you know what I mean it's videos out here other than mine it's, it's, it's Google out here so the resources I mean it, it, I mean <laughs> it's really up to you you know what I mean if you do, if you feel like you need that franchise or not like I said I prefer the franchise but you really don't need it you really don't so um but I think you just got to get a clear cut um, example of what you get with that with that uh, franchise. And that's why I recommend that you watch that video I referred you to. I'll put the link up here on this video uh, so that you can get a clear answer to that. Because you got to make the decision. I really can't make that decision for you. Uh, let me see what else did you say. I wanted to find if you know of any good resources online or training to refer me to. Thanks. I just did. So... Go check out my video, my first video, my video series, How to Start a Cleaning Business. And look at the one that says, uh, The Commercial Cleaning Franchise Exposed. Alright, so uh, that should be able to help you. Uh, but me personally, I, I really can't make that. I mean, I, I'm trying to give you more, but I really can't. I can't answer that question. I mean, I can't, you know, like that's up to you to make that decision. I can't make the decision for you. So, alright, let's see the last one. M forward says hey what's up buddy I have a question another question uh, how do you pay your employees paper or cash also do you have an accountant and what benefit what about benefit form alright first things first how do I pay my employees I cut a check I just write a check form um, I used to use QuickBooks when I actually had a payroll and, and you can buy those checks you can get them online either from walmart.com or somewhere and you put the uh, they got it set up where you can put those checks printed pre-printed checks with your business name and everything on it and you can put it in your printer and then you type in everything on QuickBooks and it'll print out like a, a real live payroll check so that's one route you can go you can uh, use the payroll checks that your bank gives you when you open up your bank account uh, well I mean you can do cash you can pay cash uh, I pay employees with cash sometimes. Just make sure you have a record of it. You know, man, that's really the key. Uh, especially with my situation, again, I pay my employees as contractors just simply because it's simple for me. I don't really have uh, like a I don't I don't really have a, a truckload of work, and they're not like on. I don't feel like they're getting a whole whole lot of money yet, so I don't feel like it's necessary to pay. Um, you know, to be so so. So, I don't want to say professional, but you know what I mean? I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to do overkill. So, I feel like cash is fine, paper is fine, pay them as contractors, send them a 1099 at the end of the year, tell them about taxes, let them know that their gas is right off, any supplies or materials that they spend on, even though you probably want to be providing it for them anyway. Um, but, yeah, let them know all of that's a write off if, they're pay if you're hiring them as subcontractors. So, that's the reason why I pay my employees as cash sometimes or as with a check sometimes. So it, it really doesn't matter how you do it. Also, do you have an accountant? No, I don't have an accountant. Um, I look every time I meet an accountant, it's they're full of crap. So 
And plus, I'm pretty knowledgeable. Like every time I meet accountants and 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 um, what do you call those? Um, I forgot what they call them, but anyway, the so-called professionals or whatever for all these different things. I find that I know more than they do. It seems I don't know. Maybe I'm meeting people that's straight out of college or whatever the case may be. But it seems like I always know more than what they know. So uh, I, I have an attorney that I might refer to sometime. But other than that, anything I need to know is usually on Google or YouTube, and I can figure it out myself. Uh, trying to grow and branch away from that, but so far I haven't had any luck. So there's an answer to that. And then what about benefits? Benefits you can get actually when you get your liability insurance. That's why. I, I also think it's good to go through a broker is because brokers can help you with that. Um, when you get your liability coverage and everything for your business, uh, you can let them know that you need cut, you need insurance for your employees and they'll help you uh, provide that for them. They, they can set up packages for you and all of that. It won't cost you anything. It'll just come out. You know, they can pay for it. You can set it up like that. Also, you can use uh, the supplemental insurance companies like Aflac and all of that. Let set up a, uh, an appointment with one of the reps and see how they can offer services for you to offer to your employees. So that's pretty much how you cover the insurance part. But get with a broker or you can call one of the uh, big names or whoever. Go, But really, you can find local brokers in your area. That's, I, I really think that's just the best route to go, to, to go to the brokers and see uh the, the um shop around and see what they have to offer you know what i mean and the reason why i like brokers like as i said in a previous video is because brokers can shop around and find uh deals through different companies versus you trying to shop through all the companies yourself the broker can do it so and also they know a lot of names of companies that you never even heard of so that's a good reason why i recommend brokers so there is that. That's all the questions for the day. Hopefully I answered them. Uh, all right. I think I probably would have answered them better in the email. I, I will admit because I'm a better writer than I am a speaker, as you guys can see. Uh, so I probably will still reply to these guys individually one on one. But I thank you guys so much for watching my video. Stick it with me. I know I've been going. I actually, where have I been? I actually been up in Pennsylvania. I did a contract job up there. I was doing for uh, about three months and got us some extra money in the, in the house so that was that was able to work and my wife was uh, running the business while I was gone so I'm proud of her because of that and and it really helped us a ton and the show has taught us a lot it taught us first off that my business can run without me you know what I mean like even though I was up there still doing the books and stuff uh, but other than that, as far as the cleaning, as far as the management and everything, like she was running it. You know what I mean? I gave my employees some increased hours while I was going to cover the work that, that we, we were doing before I left. And then when I got back, I just kept it that way. Like, you know what? This is how it should be anyway. So start by the new year. I have a new plan that I'm about to share with you guys anyway. Um, my new payment plan and how I want to do my employees. So, here, so you know I do contractors, right? All right. So how I'm going to do it is. I'll set up each account and I already, we already know how much each account uh, pays per month. And so, I don't know what happened here. Some type of, anyway. But each account pays a set amount of month, per, right? And so what I did was I wrote down, all right, this is the max that I'm going to pay for this account for uh, employee overhead. So let's give an example. My once a week accounts, I'm going to pay 80 bucks a month. All right. And let's say the once a week account pays 200 bucks a month. All right. So I know that every once a week account pays $80 a month and I'll keep the change. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start listing each account uh, in like a uh, on like a, a board or whatever. And, and online on my company's website where my employees can log in and view what's available. And I'll train up like a group of maybe 10 uh, to 15 employees or contractors rather. Who are already trained up, ready to go, already signed, no compete agreements, already know the uh, the no theft policy, already know how to clean the way that I like to have things clean. And they can be trained up and they can just check and see what's available, what's available, what's available. And you know, they can say, all right, well, I can work on Sundays and all the weekend, but I can't work Monday through Friday. So I'm going to pick maybe four weekend accounts for 80 bucks each. You know what I mean? And they'll get that and I'll pay them once a month for that. And so basically, I'm training them up to be little mini entrepreneurs or contractors, and they could just pick the job that they want. They see one Monday through Friday available, they can pick that up, call me, let me know they want that one. 
and I'll just have them going. And so when one contractor calls out and they can't do it, I can just call up one of the other ones that's available for that time and send them out there. And um, that's going to be something I'm going to try to implement uh, starting at the beginning of the year that I'm working on. I got a lot, a lot of things I'm working on. So, but that's one of the big things that I'm working on here that I hope that I can implement and I'll let you guys know the results of that. And maybe that could be something that everybody can implement. I was thinking I can even get to the point where I can start sending some of my, my contractors already trained to some of the other franchise owners because I noticed that a lot of these franchise owners end up, end up becoming slaves to their franchise because they're too scared to hide because they're scared to, they can't find good people to get out there and clean for them. So uh, I can fix that problem for a lot of people, not just myself. Uh, so that's one thing I had going on. I covered the Pennsylvania thing. I actually might be leaving uh, to go to Jersey in a few. And while I'm up there, I'm actually thinking about maybe opening a setting up shop there. I talked to a guy um, up in the Maryland area. He wants me to come up there and probably contract and do some things up there. He wanted to see if he can maybe subcontract for me or partner with me just to kind of because he's thinking about going into the business, but he wants somebody that's experienced and since I'm kind of close to his area, we were thinking maybe we could partner up. So I might dabble in that a little bit. Um, but yeah, so that's what that's what's been going on with me, y'all. So I really, really, really do appreciate you guys sticking with me and 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 fighting through me with with all my changes and everything. I know that how I am, I, I'm inconsistent on my channel. I don't have set times. All of that's going to change. I got a lot of things planned. How I'm going to have it on my channel from now on. What I had to realize, this is a channel. It's not a show. It's not. Um, you know what I mean? Just videos. It's, it's not a blog. It's a channel. It's a YouTube channel. And so I need to treat it as such. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start having something for every day of the week. And I got my things lined up. I know one day of the week I'm going to have top 10 videos of my top 10 things, blah, blah. I'm going to do a cleaning business video probably twice a week. I'm going to do uh, wealth, in the, uh, wealth building in, on one day. I'm going to do just motivational stuff on another day. <clears throat> then I'm going to do... Uh, something else too. So I got some other things up my sleeve that I'm gonna do, and hopefully we can implement it for the new year. I got my camera that I just ordered last night, so I'm gonna go ahead and order it. And I'm cheap, y'all know I'm cheap, so I paid. I got a camera off of uh, Amazon for like 80 bucks. Hopefully it's better than my damn iPhone, <laughs> not my iPhone, but an Android phone. And if it's not, then what I'll do is just stop being chat, send it back, and go ahead and upgrade. But I'm definitely I'm working on it. I already ordered the camera. I ordered the stand. I'm going to get my stuff professional for you guys I'm gonna let you, you know what I mean I'm step it up a notch I'm gonna be consistent with my stuff so I'm just getting everything in order I got a lot a lot of stuff going on I'm still getting the ebook straight uh, so yeah I appreciate y'all for watching subscribing liking sharing commenting any any questions comments or whatever you got leave it down below in the comment section and I get you the best as I can fast as I can and I thank y'all for watching subscribing liking sharing I really appreciate it. Thanks.